Now, Netflix has released their new application for Windows 10. And uh, it's what's called a new universal app, which means it'll run on your PC, on your phone, and even your Xbox, and other devices as well, with the same exact interfaces, just slightly tweaked for the size of the screen. Now, the truth be told, this is only the PC version. The phone version won't be out until later, and who knows when the Xbox will be. But anyways, eventually the same interface, so it's easy for you to see the same exact controls and operate exactly the same way in any device, uh, which is a great thing, in my, my belief. Now, what you just saw is I went out to the store and installed the application, so here it is running. Uh, so the first thing you have to do, if you don't have an account, you can sign up for their free trial or whatever. Uh, I, did that, I did that myself for uh, a an, an 30-day free trial, uh, and I'll decide whether I want to keep it or not. Uh, so I'm signing in here with my uh, account and uh, name that I created. So I click on sign in, and it's asking who's uh, watching. You put those names in during the registration process, and here's the interface. So if we look up here, you see that you have a normal Windows interface. I'm going to expand it for a full screen on Windows 10, and you can scroll through movies and things like that. Uh, that's all good. You have settings over here. Now that's where you get to this menu where it talks about the kind of stuff you can't doesn't look like you can click on, but if you click on the uh, the account settings, uh, nothing happens. But if you go down here, it launches a web browser, and where you'd actually modify your account is in your account on the internet, like a lot of uh, apps do. You don't have advanced uh, stuff on the uh, application itself. A lot less programming for them. So, but if you want to go to the menu for this application, here's where you click. You click here and you'll see the categories and things that you want to view. It's very simple, very clean interface. It maintains the scrolling left and right to find your shows and all that uh, in each different category. So, uh, what I've done, I clicked on sci-fi and fantasy right here. And it brings up a list of... Uh, shows a watch I haven't watched uh, home for example so I'll go ahead and you, you right here you can do something besides reading about it and all that you click on add in my list so when you close that you can add for any category uh, different movies that you want to put on your list to see sort of like the DVD version except you don't have to get away for a DVD you just put it in your queue uh, there I've added Terminator now to the list and I'm going to find uh, at least one more here uh, oh, good old Laura Croft. I think I'll uh, do a Tomb Raider and add her to the list and close that back down. So what if you can't find the movie that you're looking for by using categories? Well, they have a search feature. You click on search up here and you type in the first few characters of uh, whatever you're looking for. Uh, let's try Jurassic Park. Sorry, but I've been uh, there and I see, oh, Jurassic Park. I see suggestions of movies and I see people. So I click on Jurassic Park 3, it's not really there. What's here is movies like that, like dinosaur movies and all that. So the database pulls up something you may be interested in. Uh, trying to distract you, I guess, from the thing that they don't have it. You can also click on people as well, but let's try a different one. Uh, let's go to, let's go to good old Arnold. I'm sure I'll see results for him, so if I type in up here, if I type in Arnold and Boom, there's a movie called Hey Arnold, but there's Arnold Schwarzenegger over here. So, uh, again, anybody with the name Arnold in it. And there's all the movies that they have with Arnold in it. So I found something there. It gave you some good results. Try uh, one more. Uh, let's click on... Oh, let's type in... Oh, let's just type in J... Oh, 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 well, okay. We'll use this. Um, here's Everything begins with J. Uh, over here, there's Jason Statham, and there's all of uh, Jason Statham's uh, kick-ass movies. So uh, you can take a look at any of your Jason Statham fan, you can do that. And you're right back here to this interface, you can add it to your list, you can do all those different things. Uh, so that's how you use the search feature in uh, the Netflix app. So uh, clicking on the home button again, you'll see that my list is right here at the top, so I can do that. Now you can still scroll down again and add some more movies to your list. Uh, but eventually you come up and you want to watch something. So we'll click on Terminator and watch some Arnold. And uh, just click on the play button up here. It'll launch the movie. It'll take a second for it to set up. Now, 
My video capture won't actually capture the movie. Netflix is very good at protecting their content, so you can't, uh, at least not without any effort, uh, capture it uh, this way. So you'll see this is blank up here, but the movie is actually playing in the background. But what we do want to demonstrate is how you navigate through the movie. If you see here, you can just slide the navigation button, and you'll jump, and you'll see the scene here. Later on in Windows Phone, when I'm doing a camera uh, recording, you'll see it. But uh, you can go in here and do that. Now you have other controls as well. You can look at subtitles up here. Now there's other controls in the corner. There's a re uh, pause and a replay, uh, rewind button there. Uh, there's the, uh, oh yeah, full screen mode to go jump to full screen and this menu bar will disappear. And the volume and all that stuff. Now to get out of this, you don't close, you don't necessarily close, you just hit the back button here. You don't want to close your app. You want to go right back here and you're back to your menu. You can close that down and go watch something else. Now, there was something I didn't mention in the uh, movie menu that I, I want to jump back and look at the uh, series. If you notice here under series, you can jump to the series for that particular season. And it has a very nice display of every episode with a description underneath of what's going on in that episode. Uh, maybe help you identify if you've watched it or not in the past. So getting out of that, uh, again, we're in the menu. Very simple interface. A uh, very clean new Windows 10 application. Now, where else can you watch this? Well, if you have an Xbox One, or probably an Xbox Two, you can actually go watch it here. Now, a little bit of techie stuff here. You'll see here that the OS version on Xbox One is 10, and, in, and the 586 version, which is exactly the same what's on all the PCs right now, uh, except it's tweaked for the Xbox. So I've skipped through all that stuff. Here I am in Netflix. I've logged in. There's my list that I created. Now, the menu uh, selections here are not the same universal app selections. It has a different one. That will change uh, with the idea of universal app. You'll have the same exact controls doing the same thing. But for now, I want to go back to watching where I left off upstairs on my big screen downstairs on my Xbox One. I want to watch Terminator. So here I am back in here. I just click on Resume Playing, and it resumes wherever I left off. Same scroll features down here, a little bit different interface. But you can scroll left and right and take a look at what's going on in the movie and jump to a different section. You know, we realize you have to leave, um, but you want to watch the movie, but you're going to be somewhere else all day. Well, you can watch it on your phone. So here I am on my new 950 XL from Microsoft. By the way, really nice phone. And take a look at the end of this video for a link to demo on it. Uh, but we'll go into the store here, and I'm going to go ahead and download Netflix here and set it up. Same exact interface for the story that you saw on uh, the PC. So I'll do here, I'll do the same thing, I'll search for Netflix and install it. So, uh, I've installed it, it says open now. This is, whether you're on Google Play or uh, iStore, or whatever, uh, you'll have a Netflix app. You can do this as well. You can go over here to Netflix and launch the application. Uh, do the login thing and all that, just like uh, you would uh, on the desktop. So I'm going to skip through all that. And uh, so here I am is asking who's watching. And by the way, if somebody else is using their account, their access to the account, it'll bring up whatever movie they were last watching. Uh, so there I am, knows I was in Terminator. Says, uh, you want to continue watching? Sure enough. Uh, by the way, I'm checking. I'm making sure I have Wi-Fi on. Don't want to use up any precious data. Uh, and here we go, bringing up the Terminator. Uh, my nice 5.7 inch screen. Uh, setting up the video player for the first time because I hadn't used it before, and boom! I'm in here watching the Terminator on my mobile phone uh, and irritating whoever I'm sitting next to on the bus or whatever uh, in the restaurant that has Wi-Fi. So there you have it. Uh, Netflix Universal app. Uh, it's not exactly uh, the same at all, but it will be shortly. But it works flawlessly and a really great addition to your uh, library if you already have Netflix. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.